Hey friends, welcome to Putting Up the Pom Pons. We are a mother-daughter YouTube channel where we showcase and discuss everything about our natural hair, giving you hairstyle inspiration on the way we style and care that are quick and easy to achieve and take minimum effort. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications to catch our weekly videos. To all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend, it's nice to see you once again. Let's get into today's video where I'm styling Kalia's old week braid out into a two different alternative styles. I'm starting out using the Pattern Beauty Hydrating Mist and this is going to add moisture back to her hair and I did want to dampen her hair as well so I went behind it with a spray bottle of just regular water too. That's going to help me with parting her hair because it is a little tangled. I'm creating a ponytail at the nape of her neck and I'm going in with the Pattern Beauty Curl Gel. I cannot wait to do a full product review for these products on Kalia's Wash and Goes and Braid Outs. So this is my first time kind of testing it out. So I wanna see how it's going to perform before I give my honest opinion, but so far so good. They are a little bit more on the expensive side as far as hair care products, but they perform so well. They smell good and I just love the shine and how soft they create her curl. So I'm going in with a ponytail hoarder to secure that ponytail and now it's time to work on that big section in the middle. I'm going to also secure that with a wraparound ponytail holder and what that essentially is is me taking a giant ponytail holder and wrapping it around the base rather than pulling it through the traditional way uh, which you would do with a regular ponytail holder. This kind of just helps me with preserving her ends for one. They don't get caught up in the ponytail holder. Now I'm slaying down these edges and there's pretty much just two sections that's going to create this one ponytail effect look. I'm laying down her edges and I'm connecting that all to that bottom ponytail in the back. So we will pretty much have two ponytails that we are working with to create this claw clip hairstyle. I'm going to twist that bottom ponytail into the middle one and then secure the claw clip and fan out that big bun into like this peacock look so everything kind of just falls down into place. Like have this nice messy hairstyle, kind of like a messy bun. I've been looking for more trendy preteen teenage hairstyles for my oldest daughter. I'm pretty sure she is over the beads and the bows. So I'm trying to do something that's more age appropriate for her. And I thought this was the cutest style to try out on her. Right now I'm just laying down her edges using some edge control gel and then I decided to go in with some snap clips just for a little bit of decoration kind of give that throwback 90s vibe. I love snap clips. I used to want them so bad as a child but I didn't really have them growing up so I definitely use them on my daughters. She is all done for this style. This style lasted her four days, which I was shocked. I was not expecting it to last that long. So it's definitely a style I plan on revisiting. Now on to style number two, we're gonna do a bubble mohawk. And this is the same hair that we just styled in the claw clip. So since her hair was already kind of broken down into sections, thanks to the claw clip hairstyle, I didn't have to do too much parting. All I really had to do was just go in with some gel, some water, and some new hair products to kind of refreshen up her hair. It is definitely looking dry and dull at this point. It has been about two weeks now since she's had a wash. So this weekend, we will definitely be rewashing her hair. I am creating a row of ponytails. It'll be four ponytails in total to create this bubble mohawk look. It is very simple. All you're really doing is kind of creating these little poodle puffs and connecting them together to, to create a mohawk. Thank you. 
Once I have finished all of her ponytails, I'm now going to create these little small balls and secure them with a rubber band. And I kind of take hair from each little ponytail to create these small puffs down the mohawk. This step is not going to be the prettiest, so do not worry about your puffs not looking completely uniform. We will tackle that issue at the end. Right now, I just kind of want to get a structured idea of what my mohawk is going to look like. So I'm just creating these puffs, and I believe I did a total of eight puffs all together. All of this is going to be secured with rubber bands and bobby pins. Once I get to the very bottom, I kind of roll that hair up, that extra hair that is left, and kind of just bun it into each other and then secure it with another single rubber band. Now it's time to kind of clean up these puffs to make them as clean as possible. And I'm just going in with some bobby pins to secure them. Then I'm going to clean up her edges, of course, using some edge control gel. And then I wanted to create a little springtime effect because we are on the brink of springtime. Okay, right now, North Carolina is under attack from clouds of pollen. It is ridiculous. So I am going to add some sunflower clips to bring in the festivities. And that is going to complete this look. This style finished out the school week for her, so she only had it in for about two to three days, and then we took it out so we can wash it. It was super cute, and I really loved how this turned out. Thank you guys for joining us on another tutorial. We greatly appreciate having you guys here. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button and check out our other hair tutorials. We will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.